Welcome to the channel. Thank you everybody for tuning in. Uh, you are tuning in to Just For The Mothers, which is my secondary channel from The Watcher. And as it states in the name, it's Just For The Mothers. So the last episode I covered uh, this new project that I've got here. Uh, it's a restoration uh, slash modding project. So what did we do last time? We changed, well, we didn't change the bezels. I showed you how to take off the old bezels and how to effectively refurbish them. Today's video, we are going to replace the crystals. Now, I haven't gone with Sapphire. Uh, because this is a restoration or just a refurb, I decided to go for just mineral crystals. Now, there is a really good seller on eBay. Now, it's a bit of a uh, hack here, if you will. Now, for the most part, the Sapphire stuff, you do it when you you know you own the watch and and you want to create a watch for yourself uh and just dealing with so many watches you know you can look at things differently uh you can look at a watch from an uh, enthusiast eye and what what i'm basically trying to say is you don't need to have a fully spec watch all the time it's always a nice touch as well if you try to set a watch back to original and even if you are modding a watch then rather than go for a ceramic like go for an aluminium bezel insert Sometimes it's better just to get that slightly vintage or more original look. That's my personal opinion anyway. And even when it comes to those homage watches from AliExpress, um, there are a couple of watches which, when they do use an aluminium bezel insert, I appreciate that slightly more now than a ceramic. Um, it's just ceramic everywhere, you know, this high glossy surface. So <clears throat> this seller, now let me give you an example. You can just see here clocksuk.co.uk uh, and I've bought off them previously now you're looking at only like five to six pounds a crystal um, and you've, they've got multiple sizes so what you ideally want to do here is take out your old crystal measure it and then make a purchase so if it's just a quick little fix that you're trying to do because hard legs isn't that bad you know um, yes it's more prone to scratching but it does take still something quite substantial to give it a scratch but this also applies to sapphire so what i'm about to do here you can also do that with a sapphire crystal now the company i bought it from they do two they do flat and domed uh, so i've gone for a domed for the monster and i've gone for a flat for the skx 13 um, i don't know if you can see it the actual monster does already come with a domed crystal so that's why i want to replace it with something like for like so without further ado let's start taking those crystals out for that you will need this crystal press which i mentioned before it's not the best it does do the job um, but you do need to develop a little knack around how you use it so before we touch that what we need to do is take off the case back when you are using case backs like these you want to make sure once it is in these little notches here turn it to make it tight so it's gripping uh, and it's got less chance of slipping and causing damage now i have decided this watch will also actually feature a bezel insert replacement and um, i'm also going to do a movement change from the current 7s 26 to an nh 36 and consequently i will also do a guide on how to replace the stem so you're going to get a full how to mod everything just on this watch alone once you've done that is we are going to remove the crown and stem and the way we are going to do that is to show you guys here the crown needs to be still seated not pulled out and you can see this little lever here now at the end of that lever let's see if we can get a good quality picture here is there's a little dimple there you need to press on that just gently once you do that you can then remove the crown and stem with relative ease there we go now this crown and stem does need so this crown and stem does actually need replacing you can see the seal uh, here it's not properly seated anymore but it's been in there for quite a long time needs a bit of a clean to take the movement out uh, you just want to just get underneath there 
loosen it up a bit once you have it you can just even lift it out like that and we will place that to the side right there we have it now because the skx 13 is quite small you need to find a relatively small die oh here's a chapter ring okay so usually now the skx 007s for example the chapter ring will only come out once you pop that crystal out uh, but this one is just resting within the case which is absolutely fine so we can take out the chapter ring and put it away and this just makes it a bit easier you need to choose the right die for the job so it needs to fit inside and around the crystal to help pushing it out you don't need to remove the bezel uh, and i think leaving the bezel on uh, is a good way when you do fit it back just to check finish and how flush the crystal is sitting so let's do that let's pop this crystal out Now, if you are working on a watch which is unmarked then i suggest you obviously try to uh, protect that watch <clears throat> now when you are popping crystals you also need to look at the bottom one you need to get a die big enough or small enough where there is a slight gap between the bottom of the die and the watch so it gives room for the crystal to actually pop out So something like this so the bezel you can see is sitting on the die and that gives a little gap for the crystal to be pushed out and you just want to press and there we have it Let's also pop the bezel off, that's fine. We want to take that off anyway. And there we have the original crystal. Now at this point, it's good to see the dimensions so you know what replacement you need to get. The crystal is 28 millimeters in diameter. And it's two and a half mil thick. Now you can also see it does have a slight chamfer to the edge. So in this situation, like I said, we're lucky that this bezel insert does need changing. Um, but lesson learned here is on the SKX 13, remove the bezel before you do the crystal change. So the one that we have as a replacement, there is no chamfer edge, it's a flat crystal and dimensions are the same. We need a two and a half, this one is a three mil. Now you did notice there was a slight gap between the bezel insert and the case due to the chamfer. Let's see how the three mil one looks. Now before we go ahead and reapply a new crystal, just You've got a, on the inside of the watch, you have a crystal gasket present. Now with this crystal gasket, you can buy crystals with the gasket supplied and it is advised that you do that. Uh, but however, it's worth checking it out first. Now the gasket is going to be important for that good seal. So usually the gaskets don't come out when you take them out with the crystals. But just while you're here, inspect the gasket for any damages, any, you know, because it's rubber, silicon, you want to make sure there's no cracks in there and it doesn't look one this one looks perfect so we're going to stick to that so to place the crystal you go obviously from the top down and you just place it on top without pushing it too much and what you're trying to do at this point is you're trying to already make sure it is quite level so just use your fingers to adjust it make sure it's not up on one side more than the other and just make sure it's as flat as possible. So just attempt to place it just there before you put it on your press. 
Okay, that looks okay. Once you're happy with the alignment, the die that you used previously, just turn it around and you want to use a side which covers the crystal closest to the edge as possible. So you're allowed to press it down equally on either side. Place your watch back under there. Now these dies are nylon plastic, uh, so they won't hurt the crystal at all or scratch it. If you would like to put a cloth in between that's absolutely up to you so just start off by pressing gently just squeezing it and rotating as you go along just to get to see perfectly and just rotate as I'm doing here press and rotate press and rotate now just have a look and that is sitting absolutely flush perfect okay now just to make sure feel free to go around again you will be able to apply quite a bit of pressure don't worry it won't snap or shatter unless you just stamp on it or something but you know squeeze hard make sure you're getting the crystal to sit there you go crystal has been replaced just give it a good clean inside and out. Let's give it a very good clean. Okay, crystal has been replaced. Now we can just put the watch back together. You just need something flat to place. That on. You want to reinsert your chapter ring. You need to be careful here now and it needs to be at the three o'clock position personally what i would do i would put the chapter ring on the actual dial just go ahead place the watch over it like that just have a look everything's perfectly centered as you can see yep flip it press down here and press down on to the actual movement holder just to secure it reinsert your crown and you are good to go you can reinstall your gasket now this watch is going to be coming apart quite a few times so we're not going to seal the gaskets Anything like that just yet. Let's hand tighten that. The bezel insert, we're going to do that on another video. But there is something here with this watch here. I don't know if you can see clearly. There's this, I don't know what that is. There's a little little piece looks like a bit of damage on the bezel where it won't let the bezel insert sit anymore now so we will have to try and file that down but that will be on the next video so there we have it crystal replaced on the skx 13 now let's look at doing that to the monster all right here we go same situation find the right die of the right i think let's go for it guys and that's out now that did sound like something smashed, but nothing smashed. So take that back out. Okay, now let's look at this crystal here. It is a lot thinner. The one I've got is two and a half mil, 
as a replacement but the crystal here is we are going to be looking at a 30 mil crystal and this one is wow it's such a thin crystal 2.8 hang on let's see what ours is let's take this one out The one, the replacement one we have is, ooh, 3.5. Let's see how that goes. That's due to the dome, obviously. So, let's give that a good clean before you replace it. <clears throat> the dome side needs to be on the top. So, see like that. And the same situation. Just press, just settle it. Make sure it's quite flat yes it is and then you can go for the press now finding the right one again is very important and a lot of the times you will find the one that you used to take the crystal out you can also use to put the crystal back in if you turn it around and again just press 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 gently at first just to seat it and then as you go around rotate press rotate press And just move it around let's check the alignment what you want to look at for the lip the edge of how far that protrudes that's a perfect fit guys that is a perfect fit very very impressed with that one let's give it a good clean this one was a lot easier due to the chapter ring being on the dial as well so now we can put this back together put the movement down here and just place the watch case back on flip and now you'll have to just maneuver the movement back in you have to fiddle with this a bit and the best thing you can do really is just lift it up slowly and get them all to sit down together and just press in, there we go, worked out, crown in, perfect, let's get the gasket bezel back on, the bezel, sorry, let's get the case back gasket back on, and that looks awesome already, take a look at that, compared to the original crystal, Big, big scratch. No, no scratch. Right, to summarize, today's video, we did, of course, the crystal replacement on the SKX013, and we've done the same thing on the Monster. Now, with regards to the Monster, this is where my project stops. Um, I missed out on a couple of up, um, available genuine bezels, which were on eBay. Um, so I'll have to keep an eye on that. But as far as I'm concerned, I'm actually done on this. Only thing I'm doing now is I'm testing the movement. So I'm going to wear it for a couple of days. If the movement is holding up fine, it's within the allowed tolerances, then um, I might keep it or might just put it up for sale. Uh, hopefully within that time I'll find a bezel coming up for sale on eBay. If not, then this will be coming back and I'll be doing a movement change uh, with a crown and stem change also. With regards to the SKX, 13 so we're going to do a bezel replacement we're also going to do a dial replacement i will use the same hands and crown and stem and also to go in line with that is going to be a nh36 conversion so there's a lot to look forward to with this one hopefully at the end of it um it should look very nice um uh, back to stock and i do have a lovely genuine jubilee uh, seiko bracelet uh, which i can use on this Lessons learned, very important. So, so this is the first SKX 13 that I've done. And I think my mistake on this one was not realizing that you do need to take the bezel off. On the SKX 007, you don't need to. And for the most part, on most of the Seikos, you don't need to remove the bezel inserts if you can do a crystal change. However, I think the crystal was touching the bezel. That's why it came off. So if you've got a good bezel, you don't destroy it. Don't do that, just take the bezel off. Hope you guys enjoyed that. 
Um, and what I want from you guys now is I need you guys to tell me what mods you've done, what mods you're working on, because this channel is really about pushing you guys to start modding, to start getting confident with it. You've seen the mistake I made. It's nothing. Trust me, the parts are so cheap. Uh, you can make mistakes all day. You know, it's all a learning curve. And I was just as scared or nervous before I started modding. So let's do it. Tell me your stories in your comments. If you can link any pictures, uh, I can feature them on the channel. Uh, and let's just get everybody on the modding. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you for the next episode.